All right, guys. <clears throat> I guess this time I should probably share. I've had this for a minute. I just haven't done a video on it. Uh, this is a 2020 Permagreen. I brought it over here. I'm gonna let me see. It's dirty. I'm gonna wash it today. Uh, wash it up, dry it. I gotta empty the rest of the Kim out of the tank. Uh, so we're running something different next week. And this is just a look around. I haven't had it very long. I don't know if you can see that. There's 5.2 hours on it. I've It was zero brand spanking new when I got it. No hours. Um, so yeah, this is in no way a review. Since it only has five hours on it, that'd be ridiculous for me to try to give a review on something that I've only used a little bit. Five hours, I don't know how many acres I've knocked out. I could probably look it up, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to guess. But this is just a look at it. I'm going to uh, wash it, empty the tank, and then uh, then we're going to take it back down to the, the shady area, the shop area, or the work area. And I'm going to grease it up for this week. So there we go. Let's get this thing washed. So one thing I want to show real quick. <clears throat> so I was started it up which this thing starts extremely easy and uh, this is to take this out while it's running I'm just trying to since I put water down in here but I want to get the fertilizer that I have in here out I'm changing up but I really like the agitator to, to open up the Get the deflector you know everything's just going to dry it off and then uh like i said i still got to empty the chem tank under there so i'm just all i'm going to do there is a flood valve or that's not the flood valve flood valve right here and all i'm going to do is slide slide a, a pan under there and i've only got uh, about two gallons in there maybe a little bit more and uh, I'm just going to put a pan under there and drain the tank out of it. So I'm going to do that. And then after this thing's completely dry, we will, uh, I'll take it back down to the, uh, the work area. And then we'll get all the grease points up and look at it a little more in the shade. It's just water in here right now, but since I just was sitting out in the sun, and you can't see all the way down to the bottom, so there's no chemical in it. It's just I filled it back up with water. That way, when I get ready to do my mix for the week, the water's there. I just have to put the cam in it. I love the way the self agitator is on this, and as it runs, I don't know if I can even show it. Oh. So the tanks are all connected so I only fill up one side and it just flows the other side 
Um, you can little thing down there. You can shut that off. But anyway, there's some grease points in the wheels, some grease points underneath, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grease it up. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of insight to show on the machine because I'm still learning about it. You know, it's got wheel weights. This thing will climb anywhere. I mean. I don't know. I didn't take a video of it, and I don't want to take it all the way back out there again. But I brought it down that side because there's no railroad ties over there. But all these railroad ties and that big gap out there, it climbs right up that. Obviously, not with me on it, but <clears throat> thing runs like a little quad. I mean, it'll it'll climb anything, I think. Hey, Murphy, and. Uh, Anyway, 12 gallons. I mix it by the acre. Um, so far, I really enjoy the machine. Um, it's just like anything else. When you went from, for you guys at Mo, when you go from your first, when you go from your first push mower to your um, first stand on, you know, you're like, oh. So when you go from this to this. It's like, oh, but I don't have any, uh, it's the only ride on spreader sprayer I have any, any, any type of experience with. So before the comments start flying about, oh, you should have got a Z, Z sprayer, you should have got a steel green, or you should have got a, um, uh, turf co or whatever. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know this thing I'm happy with, um, you got your you got your flood nozzles you got your spray nozzles um so when you're running it you know that's your throttle brakes um obviously spreader on it's really easy so you're in high gear which is normally where i'm running this is i just leave this one off but uh high gear and if you want to do your trim pass high gear trim that keeps the spray the same swath as the uh, as the unit you go into wide and I think it's an 8 inch or 8 inch 8 foot uh, spray pattern and then obviously you know you got your you got your deflector uh, which when you're running with your spreader so you're running with your spreader on or off see only those two are opening opening so when I'm doing a trim pass deflectors down to open it's only those two holes that are rocking and then once I get out into the um, into the field of the lawn I open up the deflector and I open up my third hole that just avoids helps you to avoid over over applicating to your trim pass and uh, yeah, it's got a drop handle, so I can't do it with one hand, I don't think. Yeah, I can. So, you can drop the handle down like that if you got to walk up a steep hill behind it or something. I've I've never had to drop the handle when I, uh, nah. even when I walk behind it, I do that right there. I know a lot of guys say that's really hard to fill up. Uh, I don't have the little nozzle that's out in the truck. Let you drop that down. You open it up. Actually, I will fill it up here in a minute. So we'll, uh, I'll show you how that works. There you go guys it's really pretty simple machine you fuel and everything uh i only have five hours 5.3 on it <clears throat> so i haven't even broke it in yet at 10 hours is when i'll change all the fluids engine uh, i think clutch do the brakes or adjust the brakes and uh can't remember what else is in there <clears throat> i always care i throw this in here too 
just so if I'm in a really, really tight area, I can just, when I've got the hopper full of fertilizer, I can just scoop and hit a tight area with that. And then I carry this, it's just mesotrione. I don't like to blanket spray meso, so uh, I just put it in there so I can use it. So that, like I said, just water. And there we go guys, and uh, I think I've got some footage of some um, doing some applications on it when I first got it. We'll just use that for the uh, action video stuff, and uh, thanks for watching.